Right, welcome back again. In this video, we will be comparing the reactions of carboxylic acids and alcohol. So, we have two liquids here, right? I'm just going to call them liquid A and liquid B. So the purpose of this experiment is to identify which of the liquids is alcohol and which is carboxylic acid. So we have four test tubes on this side and four on this side with the liquids inside of them. Right? So I'm going to start with potassium permanganate. I'm going to add a few drops to the first test tube. So this one we're going to call it liquid B. Alright, so I'm going to add a few drops. Five drops. Alright. And that is what happened, right? The solution it gets purple, it stays purple. So we're calling these liquid B. Alright. Now let's go over to one of the test tubes of liquid A and let's add five drops of as well and see what happens. So one, two, three, four, five drops. Alright. Let's look again. One, two. Alright. Did not get purple, right? It changed it from purple to colorless, right? So this was one of the so this is liquid A and this is liquid B. When we add the potassium permanganate to liquid B, as you can see, it is still purple. But liquid A, it became colorless in liquid A. So we know the reactions of alcohols, so we should know and we know the reactions of carboxylic acid as well. So we should know why this happened and why this happened. So the first reaction is potassium permanganate. Purple, this one is colorless. Liquid A, liquid B. The next reaction is going to be with potassium dichromate. So it's acidified potassium permanganate and acidified potassium dichromate. And the acid we use is to acidify it is sulfuric acid. So liquid B, let's add a few drops. One, two, three, four, five. As you can see, nothing changes, right? So the color of the dichromate. All right, it appears a little yellow here, but it's orange, all right, and it stays that way. Well, it's yellow. It appears yellow on video, all right, but the color, it stays the same, all right. Now, let's add some now to the alcohol. One, two, three. Hope you're seeing the color. All right. Add some more. So this, so this blue color. All right, just a second. All right, so continuing, I'm going to add some acid to see if it speeds up the reaction, and we we'll get the next color. I'm looking for a particular color. Just a second again. Alright, so continuing, add some more. I'm not sure. Hold on. Alright, so I'm not sure if this makes it any better, but if you notice, it's kind of a greenish color now. Alright, so that's what I wanted you to see from just the blue. It changes to it's almost green now, but yeah. Alright. 
so this is the color we are looking for a green color so even though it was blue when I add the acid it kind of speed up the reaction so we get this color all right so remember for liquid B it was yellow so let's just put them side by side So you can see that liquid A, it changed it from yellow to green. And, well, the dichromate is orange, not yellow. So you change it from orange to green, right, for liquid A. But for B, it stays the same, all right? So now, we're going to move on now, and we're going to test the acidity of the compounds using the blue litmus paper so this is the liquid a i'm going to run it down and allow it to touch the litmus paper all right it still hasn't changed it really all right just a little slightly all right hold on just a second so i have a new litmus paper right completely blue just want to make sure any change is because of the liquid all right so let's see again all right so as you can see you now there is no change all right so no change in the color of the blue litmus paper however again a new one now let's test it with liquid b as we can see liquid b change it from blue to red right. so that's for the litmus paper now i have a piece of magnesium ribbon I'm going to place it first in liquid A and then I'm going to place piece in liquid B. So this is magnesium ribbon, magnesium metal. All right. Let me get liquid B and do the same. So liquid A, liquid B. So you notice a reaction is occurring in one of them right? and not the other right it is quite visible now so this is liquid b this is liquid a all right yes so that was it this is still come liquid a nothing happening in liquid a all right but b has reacted so the final reaction i'm going to add a small amount of sodium carbonate to each test tube So I'm going to add it to the next test tube containing liquid A. Alright. Right. Then I'm going to add a small amount to the next test tube containing liquid B. So clearly you see the effervescence taking place there. Alright. A 
again for liquid B, nothing occurring. All right. So those are four re reactions that we looked at comparing liquid A and liquid B. So based on the reactions, you should know if liquid A, you should know which liquid is the carboxylic acid and which liquid is the alcohol, whether it's liquid A or B, which is which. All right, so we did permanganate, potassium permanganate, potassium dichromate. We use the litmus paper. We use magnesium ribbon and we use sodium carbonate. So those five reactions should allow you to determine which is which. All right. So that's it for this video. So this is just to show some reactions of carboxylic acid and alcohols.